cat was sick, she would pee in this corner of my apartment and there was a shelf there. So it stained the shape of the shelf. <laughs> and here where it's stained in the shape of a chair we have. So this is what my floor looks like after I've stripped the floors with the sander. Um, most of the urine did not come out. I tried using peroxide on both damaged areas and it didn't work. So what I'm going to try is to use hair developer on the floor. 40 developer with powder developer. So here we go. I'm going to, I mixed the developer already. My little bucket over here. Now I'm gonna wipe some in a test spot. I know the darkest part actually. I'm gonna put it in there and I'm gonna soak it on there. See what happens. And then I'm gonna lay some saran wrap on top of it and put a warm a hot towel on top of it because hair developer works best with heat. So I'm just gonna do this little test spot right here because it is bleach and it's kind of harsh on your floor. So here it is with the warm towel and the saran wrap underneath. I'm gonna check it every few minutes to see the progress. So this is after 10 minutes and some scrubbing with a toothbrush and some hydrogen peroxide. So I'm assuming I probably have to leave it on for a lot longer in each patchy spot. So I'm gonna leave these on for about 20 minutes and see how that works. And I'm gonna re, uh, we top this part up again for another 10 minutes. And I'm trying not to get paint on the part that's not, the, the developer on the part that's not stained. I'm just trying to mark the stained spots. It is getting lighter though. I can see that. Okay, so this time I'm being careful with the paint. So I've got a little tiny paintbrush. So I could uh, make sure I get just the part that I want bleached. I don't want the wood bleached. I just want the stains bleached. For the so here we are with the developer all over it. You see, I just put it on the parts that are really black. Here it is with the saran wrap on top of it. Now I'm going to put a towel on top of it. Here it is with the towel on top of it. And I'm going to show you what I did to steam the developer. Just the towels are wet. Just leave it for about 10 seconds in each spot. till the towel gets really hot. Between 5 and 10 seconds. And then you just lift it up a little bit to see that, that the plastic is getting warm. The plastic should be getting warm. If the plastic's not getting warm, then it's not heating it up. And it is getting warm. So basically you do that in every spot that you needed to steam it. I've already done it, I'm just showing you what I did. See, it's getting lighter. So now I'm spraying with, a, with peroxide and I'm going to scrub it a little bit with the toothbrush to see if I can get more to come up and just keep on repeating and repeating and repeating. Yeah, that's a really big difference from before. I'm going to take a picture and do a before and after side by side so you can see what I mean by how much it's bleached out. Of course, I'm going to keep doing as many coats as necessary to get all this nastiness up. After a light sanding and I dampened it with peroxide. So obviously there's still that really dark spot here and here. 
So I'm going to put more developer on there and I'll plan to send this out eventually, but focusing obviously in the stains first. But as you can see, it's a big, big improvement over the nastiness that it was before. Okay, so it's a full day later and this is the result. So it worked really, really well, as you can see. And I sprayed the rest of the floor so you can see the color that it's supposed to be. And obviously there are extra light areas where the bleach went past the stains, but I'm gonna darken that with tea. But compared to before, the result is, speaks for itself. So here I'm finally done uh, sanding the entire room. And you can see here how the floor is natural and where I lightened it because of the, the damage. You can see the comparison as to what it would look like if I stained it right now. So here you get to learn from my mistake. I put the developer on this area as well, but I did forget to clean it up before I started sanding it. If you don't clean the developer off completely before you start sanding, this is gonna turn black again. So now I have to reapply the developer all over again. Let it soak, steam it, clean it thoroughly, and let it dry. Then I gotta go back and sand it.